on, do it now. Don't miss the deadline. It's 25 to 8. Now, there was a march opposing the Cambridge congestion charge at the weekend. Proposals to charge cars £5 a day to help pay for improved bus services were consulted on before Christmas. We're expecting to hear in the summer whether the plans will go to the next stage. Reporter Jenny Kirk was there. This is the second demo in three months against plans to introduce a congestion charge in Cambridge. To have to rely on buses to do anything you want to do in Cambridge, to go grocery shopping, to go to a shopping centre, to go to a garden centre, it's just not feasible. The Greater Cambridge Partnership, which is behind the plan, says this is one of the most congested cities in the country. Couple that with the fact that 44,000 new homes are expected to be built in the wider area within the next 20 years, and the GCP argues that the city just can't cope. Their plans have three aims, to improve the bus network through more services and cheaper fares, to increase sustainable travel options like better walking and cycling links, and impose a road user charge to reduce air pollution and cut congestion. The GCP predicts that'll raise £50 million through charging drivers, £5 for cars, 10 for vans and 50 for HGVs to come into the city on weekdays between 7am and 7pm. More than 23,000 people have responded to the consultation. This, the campaigner's message to county councillors, will have the final say. Find another way. There is another way. I personally have a preference, for instance, for a tourist tax. We're not going to give up. We simply cannot. We cannot allow it to happen. It would be a disaster for Cambridge. The results of the consultation will be discussed in June. Campaigners here are planning other events to keep the matter in the spotlight. Jenny Kirk reporting. David Summerfield is from the Cambridgeshire Residents Group who organised yesterday's event. David, good morning. Hi, good morning. Duffy, Were you pleased are you? with? Yeah, fine, thank you. Were you pleased with how it all worked out at the weekend? My gosh, what an absolutely fantastic turnout! The police estimated it was probably close to six thousand people on Parker's piece. Absolutely great atmosphere, no problems. Everybody supporting the cause. Great, great turnout. Very impressed. And why are you staging this now, David? Because the consultation is over, isn't it? And the Greater Cambridge Partnership say they're working their way through the responses. So so why have a big old protest demo like now? Well, it's, it's plainly clear that the, the local councillors, the Labour and the Lib Dems aren't listening to the, the people of the city. We are, we are desperately trying to fight this and uh, basically get the GCP to listen to the, the impact that this is going to roll out through, through the whole of the city, to be honest. Um, can, I, can I quickly take you back to your soundbite and just make sure that it's absolutely clear that it's not, not just a charge for travelling into the city, it's a charge for every car movement within the boundary. Yeah, it's, it's whenever you kind of leave your driveway, get out of your garage, if you're within the sustainable transport zone, then, yeah, you will be charged a fiver in your car. Just to take you back, David, to, to what you were saying there, you say the Greater Cambridge Partnership, the councillors, they're not listening, but, but they've had the consultation and obviously they need some time to process the responses. I mean, is that not literally listening? Um, well, there, there is a huge question about how many people were actually consultated. Yes, there were 23,000 people replied. Um, there are rumours that there are multiple entries on that consultation, so we question whether it's actually valid or not. But the outlying villages and the outlying cities and the certain um, aspects of the community that weren't aware of this, um, if you go around asking people after the consultation closed, people still weren't aware of this charge and how it can affect the city. So do you want another consultation or...? Well, what we need is the people need to vote. So the people of Cambridge City need to vote on this subject. So we need a referendum where every single household will get the opportunity to voice their opinion on this very, very draconian charge. So would that be a referendum just within Cambridge? Would it be Cambridge City Council area? Would you include South Cambridgeshire? Would you include East Cambridgeshire? What? Well, it needs to be the whole of the affected area, so that's South Cam and Cambridge City, yes. So that's over 200,000 people that are affected by this charge. OK. Um, I think it was Neil Mackay recommending that a tourist tax instead, which I can see for, for Neil, who, who runs a hardware store, yeah, he might want to tax tourists. I expect there's many, many companies who rely on tourists' trade who would be rather less keen. Well, there's, there's, there's many options um, that, that, that can be considered apart from taxing the, the lower-income um, citizens of, of Cambridge. You know, this is 
every every survey that has been done in the last few months is showing a, at least an eighty percent opposition to this tax. So whether it's business or residents, the, the results are eighty percent of us don't want it. David, thank you for your time this morning. David Summerfield there from the Cambridgeshire Residents Group. They organised yesterday's demonstration. Consultation on these proposals happened before Christmas. And the Greater Cambridge Partnership, um, who put forward these plans, say they're now working through 24,000 responses. They say they're taking their time to go through the feedback and to understand people's views. Their board will then make a recommendation to the county council in the summer. I heard from Mandy, who says, we went on the march yesterday to oppose the congestion charge. It was a great event, very well attended, very peaceful. There were some good speakers. If this tax comes in, our family of seven could be paying £25 every weekday. How mad is that? And here's a side note. We all know how busy Cambridge can be at the weekends with people coming in to shop. Just think how much busier it will be if the only two days people would not be charged a Saturday and Sunday. It's as ridiculous as Neil Mackay, who runs Mackay's hardware store and is vehemently against the congestion charge. It's as ridiculous as Neil Mackay being asked by a member of the Greater Cambridge Partnership why he couldn't have all his deliveries on a Saturday. What planet are these people on? Almost as bad as him being asked why can't all your customers travel on a bike? Hmm, a six by four rolled steel joint might be a bit tricky, to be honest. Mandy, thank you for your message. That came in on WhatsApp. 08000 321 333 and do start your message CAM.